Fox 13 is your home for the very latest from our state legislature. Today, we look at an effort in Olympia where some Washingtonians could get a $200 credit for utility payments this year. Fox 13's Hannah Kim here with more on how this will work and why some say the timeline of it is questionable. The money would come from the Climate Commitment Act, essentially giving Washingtonians money back from a piece of legislation that has been very lucrative for the state, generating well over a billion dollars last year. Those $200 rebates will go to low-income residents. The House version of the proposal would hand out the credits once on October 15th of this year, which is three weeks before Election Day, and then again in February of 2025. But the February rebate would only go out if voters keep the Climate Commitment Act. There is an initiative right now now to repeal the act on the November ballot. That leads to some questions of whether House lawmakers are trying to convince voters not to repeal the act. I pose that question to Representative Joe Fitzgibbon. We're just trying to be upfront with Washingtonians about what the impacts of this repeal would be. There's many things that, that would no longer be funded if the Climate Commitment Act is repealed. Uh, traffic safety improvements, uh, salmon recovery improvements, uh, improvements in wildfire prevention and wildfire suppression. Um, you know, we, we want to be sure that Washingtonians know what's at stake uh, if this law is repealed. And there are many things that the state of Washington will no longer be able to do. Critics of the House proposal, including the Washington Policy Center, says the February payment should not be contingent on how people vote because the state has already collected that money under the Climate Commitment Act and it's already in their coffers. We understand that there are environmental needs, but the CO2 tax has been far more expensive than anybody anticipated. And so while yes, there are needs, in fact, what we need to do is prioritize things. If they wanna do this and make it so that it's about helping people and not politics, then make sure the checks go out in December of 2024. That way there's no impact on politics and it doesn't, it, it's not contingent on how people vote. There is a Senate version of this proposal that does not have any contingencies, so the House and Senate will have to work out a compromise to come up with how they are going to implement the rebate.